Now let us derive a relationship between the dielectric constant K and electric susceptibility chi where K is the dielectric constant and chi is the electric susceptibility. For that let us consider a dielectric slab like this. When you apply an external field that is E E0 from left to right that is there is a huge positive charge in here and a huge negative charge in here the electric field or external field is from positive uh, electric field is always from positive to negative so E0 is from left to right so what will happen to the charges in the dielectric slab the charges in the dielectric slab the negative charges come near the positive charge and the positive charges come near the negative charge but the number of charges in the dielectric will be smaller than the external charge because they are usually insulators so there will be less amount of charges and clearly you can see that there is an internal field from the right to left let's call that as EP see there is an always an electric field from positive to negative charge and this EP opposes E0 so the net electric field E net that is the net electric field will be the external field E0 minus EP we can call this as polarizing field EP let's call this as equation number one now we have dielectric constant dielectric constant by the definition of dielectric constant we have K is equal to the external applied field divided by the net field. This is by definition the equation of dielectric constant or you can write this as E0 divided by you know E net equal to E0 minus EP. Let's call this as equation number 2. Let's take this as the general case because we need to substitute the value of K using the equation E0 by E net. And we also know the fact that the polarization polarization P is directly proportional to the net electric field. As far as there is the net electric field is not low, not so large. So P is equal to a constant K into E net. But P is equal to this constant is found to be epsilon 0 that is permittivity times uh, permittivity times chi susceptibility times E net. Let's call this as equation number 3. See P is equal to K into E net and experimentally we found that it is epsilon 0 times chi that is chi is the susceptibility. This chi is equal to chi means that is this one represents the electric susceptibility. Electric susceptibility. Stability. Clear. Now, let me erase this. We have again the net electric will write this equation again E net equal to external field minus the polarizing field E. Now we took this as equation number one. Let me divide the equation number one with E net. So this will be E net by E net equal to E0 divided by E net minus E P divided by E net. So this will be so this will be 1 is equal to you know E0 by E net is K. K minus E P divided by E net. But you know E P is equal to electric field is always sigma divided by epsilon 0. We already derived this expression uh, in the section uh, 
the electric field between two parallel plate parallel plates of opposite charges if you have any doubt we already we made a video about this you can always go there and check uh, so this is equal to let's say sigma p since the surface charge density is due to polarization so one is equal to k minus sigma p divided by epsilon zero into this one e net and we know we already derived the relationship between surface charge density and polarization we have surface charge density that is right here sigma p is equal to polarization so sigma p p divided by epsilon zero e net now we have this can this is equal to 1 equal to k minus instead of p you can substitute the equation 3 that is epsilon 0 chi into e net divided by the denominator is epsilon 0 e net you can cancel this epsilon 0 and e net so that 1 is equal to k minus what left what what is the factor left so that is chi or you can write k is equal to dielectric constant is equal to 1 plus chi so this is the relationship between dielectric constant and electric susceptibility from the equation itself it is clear that the dielectric constant is always greater than chi clear